All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another FTL. What? Regular FTL? Huh? Yeah, I thought I would just kind of switch it up. There's going to be more multiverse, obviously, but I wanted to take a step back and try out some base FTL. It's It's been a while since I played vanilla, and with the kind of crazy influx of, of content on the on YouTube here, just in general, I, I thought it'd be a good time to hop back in, you know? People are into the game again, which is awesome. You know, I'd like to think I'm partially, you know? I've been around. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's jump in here. This is probably going to be a little bit more tutorially because although my beginner's guide back in about a year ago when I made this channel, really. Um, it's good, and it's still factually correct and has some good tips, definitely. It's a little rough around the edges. You know, I use, like, Windows game mode to record my gameplay, um, and I use the Turtle Beach headset mic, <laughs> so it sounds shockingly terrible. But, yeah, let's jump in. I think I think I already know what ship I'm going to play. I think we're going to be going with the Kestrel B, a.k.a. the Red Tail. Um, this is a very good ship, in my opinion, for a couple reasons. Mostly, you know because of the weapons. It's a very vanilla ship, if you will. Kind of mini laser go boom boom, right? But that, that that makes for a very powerful early game. Having four basic lasers like this, you will be stomping things for the first like two sectors, I would say. So that's going to be amazing. Having four weapon power, for obvious reasons, is amazing. It, it makes upgrading and adding new weapons really manageable. Like, you get one more weapon power when you pick up a halberd beam, and you can have, like, yeah, you can just kind of easily steamroll into good weapon setups, so... The layout is, yeah, it's hit or miss. I, I like parts of it. This It's a little weird up here with this, like, airlock behind the piloting. It could be a little jank, but, yeah. Let's get going here. I'm curious to see how regular base vanilla FTL treats us, because playing so many modded runs, which is good, definitely, but it's going to be interesting. So right off the bat, I'm going to move Zoltan out, and you probably should too. I never like to keep Zoltans in uh, weapons, because if, I mean, you probably saw it right there. If I move him out of there, it's going to yank the power out of a weapon. And that can, in the heat of battle, be a big problem. So let's do this instead. Um, and that just seems okay. All right, so let's jump here. People are going to be asking, if you haven't seen my videos before, I do have some mods on. None that game, change the gameplay. They're all just aesthetic ones. This one shows the Alliance of the Jump, which I don't feel is cheaty. It's called the FTL Pursuit Indicator. Just kind of takes a lot of the guest work out of the game, which is good. Um, and obviously my aliens are, are crazy colors, which is awesome as well. Okay, so right off the bat, we got this guy, Pirate Rigger. They have a heavy laser and an Artemis. We're probably going to take some damage here. But if we dial in completely on their weapons, we might be able to take this out before. <clears throat> we'll see, though. Nope. Big miss. Right in the engines. That's okay. We did take the missile down. So now we can do something like this. Stagger our shots. Well, we can probably just launch them all at one. Nope. We no longer can. Let's do this. We'll fire these two on shields. And then these two on weapons to keep them down. Yep. Okay, so they're surrendering. Not too concerned about that. We got Trico, the Zoltan, fixing our engines. Wonderful. We'll heal them up in a moment. Let's take this guy out first. Okay, well, we can probably heal. We're just kind of waiting around for our final volley. See, that's what happens. The power, he put the power in here, and then he walked out, so it got taken. Um, we don't really need our shields that much, but still. That's the curse of the Zoltan. Okay, 15, scrap, one fuel, not bad. Make sure this is powered. Okay, so we have 25, which is not bad. I'd like to jump around and maybe find a store. One of the first upgrades you should always make in 90% of circumstances in FTL is your level 2 shields. This is good. We'll fight you. Because ships like this can't hurt you at all. Okay, that's a little annoying. We're going to get Mantis here to fight this guy. Or at least help. Don't want to move our piloting out because I want to keep dodge. We're a little bit lower than 20% because we're fighting, but it's okay. So they fire their heavy laser. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to, again, go all for weapons here. If we had level 2 shields, like I just said, we'd be good to go. Okay, they hit O2. Not that bad. We'll fix that in a moment here. You come help. Uh, we can honestly get weapons guy to, to come assist the Mantis because he is pretty terrible at repairing things. Not going to be accepting surrender. Usually, I never accept surrenders unless they give me something extra, like a drone or an augment. Okay, as long as I only have one laser online, we will be good to go. Okay, send everyone home. Actually, you two can come heal. We have no pilot right now, but that's fine. Again, as long as we have our shields up and their weapons aren't doing anything 
we'll be fine. So one more volley should take him out here. Perfect. No resists. Love to see it. So we're building up scrap. We need about 50 scrap to get the shields upgrade. We're going to hold off in hopes for finding a store. Not to mention we're not really there yet. <clears throat> Let's just hope for the best here. What do we got? We're definitely going to fend for ourselves. So they have a missile and a attack drone. Now this thing, unless it gets really good RNG on our shields, should not be able to do damage to us. Okay, it did get really good RNG, but it missed. Otherwise, we're just going to dial in completely on here. Yeah, look at that. Unbelievable. Oh, well, you can't win them all. Here comes the missile. It's going for sensors. I'll be fine without sensors. So we can probably do something like this now. Come help. They already got it back online, huh? I suppose they don't have much weapon power. They probably have one bar of weapons, if I had to guess, since this is just the only weapon they have. Oh, there's a breach, too. Should have noticed. Should have noticed. Sorry, he's got it. He's got it. Getting Mort some good repair skills. As long as we keep this missile down, no problems here. Nice. Oh, we actually got sensors because Mort's in here. They have a system repair drone. That's part of the reason they fixed it so quickly. They also have one crew left because the rest died. Nice. I mean, it doesn't really matter for us per se, but... All right, they're down. Nice. Let's heal up. 15 scrap. Good. So we are over V54, and I would recommend 50 to 60 scrap getting that level 2 shield. Always a good investment. Um, there is a store. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is go 1, 2, 3, and then to the store, and then over. Not getting the level 2 shields, even though I said you should. If you can maximize your money before a store like this by hitting these jumps preemptively, if there's something crazy here like cloaking or a burst laser mark 2 or a flak or who knows, we'll be good to go. So we'll definitely do this. Free scrap. Quest. We are not going to be able to hit this probably because it's in a really cringe location out here. It's kind of unfortunate, but they gave us some scrap anyways, so it's whatever. Can't win them all. I'd recommend not backtracking like that. If you can, absolutely will not be doing that. Okay, so see, this is level 2 shields incarnate. They would be doing no damage to us because this only takes one layer of shields, and this thing obviously doesn't pierce, so if we had two layers, we'd be completely good. So we'll just go for drones here. Take this thing offline. Actually, we should probably take the weapon offline. It's probably a little more important. Unless this drone gets really lucky. Yep, it, like it just did. <laughs> I, I should just not speak. This should be a silent, no commentary video. But we took the beam down, which is good, so now we can pivot. We'll probably keep... Well, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, drone's down. Shields are down as well. We're taking a little bit of damage, but I usually don't worry about it. Like, this whole first chunk of the health bar is, is just... I wouldn't say it's good to have empty, because that makes no sense. But it's okay to have this empty, because you get repaired so often, and you can get a lot of free events that will give you whole repairs. And you never... Well, if you're losing this much HP in one battle, you are going to lose anyways, so... Alright, let's hit one more jump in the store. Hopefully we can get about 80 to 90 scrap, if there's some sort of event here. Well... You win some, you lose some, I guess. 74 is still okay for sure. Let's see what the store's got. Scrap recovery arm is pretty good to get early on. They don't have cloaking. We wouldn't be able to afford it anyways. I think I think we buy scrap recovery arm. If you can find this early on normal or easy, especially easy, always buy it. You know, if you're in sector 6 or 7, then it's like it's not going to be worth it. But on normal and easy, if you find this sector is 1, 2, even 3, it's always good to buy. So we will be doing that. I think, yeah, it pays for itself pretty quickly. Otherwise, we're good. Um, yeah, I don't want to go here and then waste to jump back to this empty beacon after we've already visited. So the quest, you guys are not getting led to your destination. I am so sorry. Okay, go for weapons again straight away. So this is the good thing about these weapons right off the bat. Firing four projectiles that you can aim at different systems. I mean, I know I'm pointing them all at weapons right now, but in theory, is super good. Okay, bombs down. That's all I really cared about. Now we can do this. Um, yeah, being able to target so many different systems is huge. <clears throat> With their shields down, they're going to be in trouble. With Scrap Recovery Arm, we'll get a little bit more money here, which could be helpful. Oh, see, this is what I'm saying. If, if they offer a Surrender, really with anything. But the Fire Beam, I actually might use. 
In fact, I might, uh, like, we, I, this is what I was saying with the other thing. We can just immediately get it online like this. And I think we're actually going to run this for now. So we have what? Three jumps? Yeah, we'll just go straight down here. We'll go this way, actually. Nobody should have more than one or two layers of shield, so we should be able to get this fire beam super, super powerful. So their hackiness, that could change things, depending on where they hack us. Medbay? L-O-L. So that's, you love to see that. Now, if you had someone in the medbay, not so much, but... Yeah, let's just shoot weapons here, I think. Took the laser down, which is fine. Regular bomb misses, perfect. So we're going to really try to suffocate them here. Or burn them out, really. We should. What we should also maybe do is get Mantis down here. We don't really need our shields to recharge that quickly. This way we can see inside, and yeah, they're, they're hurting. Unfortunately, they have a system repair drone. So I'd like that to not exist anymore, if possible. They put that fire out. System repair drone is depowered, good. The bomb, what did it do? I think it missed. I didn't really see in time. So this fire beam is gonna continue to help us. Let's try to get perfect here. Okay, at this point, we're gonna stop firing our lasers. They keep missing, which is good. And we're gonna let them burn up. Now the bombs don't actually do any hole damage, so it'll be annoying if they hit us in certain places, but they can't kill us at this point. Yeah, see, doors got taken down. Mantis can come slowly fix this. Get some repair XP. Um, shields are still up, but they're burning pretty badly here. The only reason I'm, I'm mainly doing this is because if you kill enemy crew, like with fire beam, with boarding, whatever, suffocating them, um, you get more rewards. So it's always a good idea to do if you can. Oh, their weapons are burning now. Nice. And that's the other thing with the bombs. Half the time they go for empty rooms like this, and it just it's completely meaningless. So let's go back in here. What we can do actually is fire a single laser to take their shields down. And then do this. Yeah, they're toasted. They are toasted. Now, in theory, if it breaks a system, they'll blow up. But as you can see, he died. And look at that. Tons of rewards. Hell yeah. Okay, 78 scraps, so at this point, we're definitely going to the level 2 shields. We're a little power short, but we can just do this. And there they go, the fires. <laughs> we already got our rewards, so we got out, but let's get Marcus up here. Okay, straight to the exit. I, I could dive, you know, go outside the Rebel G uh, fleet and then jump back in if I wanted more rewards, but not going to be big on that. Okay, so we're getting mind controlled. Not ideal, however, they can't really hurt us with what they got. So we should be more than okay. So let's uh, just start taking this Zoltan shield down. Yeah, I know. I know. We're just going to let him blow it up, I think. Well, maybe we shouldn't do that. Let's get Mantis in there to distract him. So we don't... If a system breaks fully and goes red, then it'll do whole damage. So I'd rather avoid that. It's not that big of a deal, but it just doesn't need to be done. Okay, so hopefully one more oh no one more volley we'll be able to take their shields down hopefully and get some fires going now they do have a clone bay so we do kind of want to take that down as well okay perfect so we'll do this i think we'll go something like this there we go okay their mind control is no longer working let's get uh let's get you in sensors again so we can really see what's happening upgrading sensors could be worth it for sure but Realistically, it's not that necessary. Um, I think I'll fire some lasers. Take this down. So if they do die, they won't be resurrected. Do something like this now. Okay, my control's completely down. Love to see it. We'll do this. Alright. They are hurting. Now, it's just a waiting game at this point. Always love a good fire beam run. In the meantime, you two can come heal. And they're actually giving us Hasifa. So I'm going to do that. Because getting more crew is always good. Especially in NG. NG are super helpful. So you don't have any skills. So you will probably go into doors. If I had to imagine. I usually, the way I, I do my crew, 
put someone in piloting, weapons, engines, shields. After that, go doors, and then after that, go sensors, and after that, just kind of station them around. Okay, so that's one sector down. Rock controlled or NG controlled? I think I will go NG controlled, plus we just picked up our own NG. So any possible blue events that pull up, we can make use of. All right, I am liking this. So I'm thinking what our next... We need to get some more engine power, to be honest. But after that, I want to get this other basic laser online. So we can get even more projectiles going. Okay, there's a store. I'm going to go... We can reach here. One... Eh. I'll go one jump. If I get enough money to maybe make this store worth it, then we'll do it. Or like something to sell. Okay, they have a flat cannon. Not great, but I'm still going to go with fire strats, I think. So we'll just do this on weapons. Hopefully take this down. Then we'll, we'll light some fires. Now, this is a pirate ship. That's the other reason I didn't want to go to the... Oop, nice miss. The rock sector. They are immune to fire, as we all know. Big misses, maybe? Okay, that wasn't so bad. Only hit the med bay. You come fix that. Um, they're immune to fire, which makes things very difficult for a fire beam run. So let's do this. Nice. Lots of fires, hopefully. Here comes more flak. Good miss, good miss. Okay. They resisted the hull damage, which is actually really good, but we took their flak down. We still did system damage, so I'll take that. And their weapons are completely down. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that was highly satisfying. Love to see it. Fires are probably spreading. Let's fire another shot, though, and get some more going. So, there aren't actually any in their weapons room anymore, because they fixed it. Let's go see what's happening here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, they're not doing too hot. So, this is a terrible surrender offer. Cannot be asked. Generally, uh, the rule of thumb is, if you want more scrap, blow them up. If you want more, like, fuel, missiles, drone parts, resources, take their surrender offer. Wow, I probably should have done something about that, instead of laying the flag fire. Maybe we'll get a lucky dodge here. Let's see. Yeah, we did. Wow. Alright, well he's down. 29 scrap is huge, and 6 fuel is also huge. What do we have to sell? Really just the basic laser. That's 10. That's going to give us 49. That's not a lot of money. We have so much fuel. We're fine on hold points. I think I'm going to miss the store. The only thing I could see us buying that we'd actually be able to afford would be a Long range scanners, which is an S tier augment, but that's obviously it's no guarantee it's there. This is ridiculous, by the way. So we're just gonna skip this store, we'll be fine. There are three stores in NG sectors and civilian sectors instead of the usual two. Wow. Really wish that I'd gone here first, but there's no way to make it happen really. Um so we should probably hopefully find some more stores in this sector. What do we got? Yeah, we'll definitely do this. I'm not using missiles for anything, so I'll, I'll definitely delay the fleet. Let's jump down here then. One, two, three. Yeah, we're not going to go up there. But we can make a bunch of things happen with this area of the, the sector. So we'll go down here. What do we got? Yeah, we'll listen to their problem. So we can send our mantis or our human in to communicate. Generally, he will then join your crew. Or we can send our mantis to communicate. We're going to send the human, return him home, and... We can either get him to upgrade our engines, which would be actually okay. Do I want that, though? We don't have the power to make it happen, so I'm going to offer him a position. We'll take Smith. And this way I can put him in sensors. You get back here. You get here. And this gives us someone to fight a little bit better, be a bit more mobile if we get boarded, which will be very helpful. Um, speaking of engines, though, I will do this. Well, let's do this first. Just get the power. Now we can do this. And then we'll buy one more engine power shortly. But I do think we might be able to find a store. Let's go here and then back down. What have we got? We'll hail them. I don't need the missiles, man, so I'm going to politely decline. I've got plenty of fuel, but I'd much rather have fuel than missiles. Speaking of fuel... It's not... We just don't need that much. I'm going to buy three because this is always a good deal, this event. But I don't need six. Like, I got 24, dude. It's a staggering amount of fuel. We'll probably run out eventually, but that makes... That's just one less thing to worry about. 
Nothing here. There is a store. Okay, we'll go one jump. Really wish we had a little bit more money, man. We got to fight, though. Okay, level two shields. Here we go. They cannot hurt us at all, so we can take our time. We'll just let the fire beam charge up here. They do have two NG, so they're going to be repairing things pretty quickly. But I don't think that should be a problem. Yeah, wow. It's a lot of fire. And now we just wait, once again. Shields are completely down, which is good. We'll probably just auto-fire like this then. Make sure every room... Yeah, see, they put that out in record time. But the fires on the rest of their ship are going to spread too quickly for them. So we should be able to get them down. Relative ease. Ooh, they actually fixed their shields. Kind of a bummer. It's all right. It's all right. We'll be fine. Okay, so this is huge. Wow, streamer luck. Another scrap recovery arm, literally for free. There is no reason to not take this. That is huge. We might sell this. We probably will sell this eventually if we need more augment space. But for now, that's actually huge because they do, in fact, stack. So I think, God, I really wish these two beacons, the store and this one, so I could go up here. It's all right. We'll just go straight to the store, see if there's anything we want. If not, we will upgrade to get weapons. Well, we'll probably get engines first, like I said. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> How could we make? We need 120. Could we make that happen? 25. Okay, that gets us to like 80, 90. Oh, man, we could... I honestly... Oh, we could really make that happen right now. I think I'm going to have to do it. Sell this, sell this. We're at 91. This gets us to... Like, you have to buy the scrap cover here. Or the pre-igniter. Um, this gets us to... 101. 116. And then we just have to sell this. Okay. It's going to be a little tight. Because I wanted to use this. But I, I have faith that this will be worth it. So even though I said we're going to keep these around, like we're going to do this for the pre-igniter. The pre-igniter is so rare and so good. Actual streamer luck incarnate. But you know what? That's that's FTL, baby. So now all of our weapons will be charged immediately. And for the time being, we should be okay. We're going to need more weapons for sure, but we can deal with two layers of shields and... Yeah, we'll try it. Okay, we got intruded. Not great. I think what I will do... Move you up here, and we'll have the Mantis fight. And then we will immediately fire like this. And they they beam more over here. Okay, he actually bailed on doors for some reason. So we'll do this. Okay, so hopefully we lit some fires. I'm not entirely sure, because we're a little bit busy with these dudes. Uh, Go for weapons, please. Take that bomb offline. Perfect. We're winning this fight easily, though, which is good. Okay, O2's down on their end. Love to see it. This guy's moving. Just going to preemptively do this. Put him in a bad spot. And we should be pretty much okay on this fight. Our Mantis have won. Let's, uh, let's move you back to sensors this way. Do this, and we'll do this. See, yep, fires for days. We did not start any up here, but they are spreading, which is good. Okay, he beam back. You guys are not going to have a good time, my friend. The fire beam is unrivaled in levels of fun. It's actually crazy. Such a good time. Highly sadistic, but, you know. FTL is, is, is not really a space game. It's more of a war crime simulator, I found in my hundreds of hours. I will do this to try to start some more. Kind of <laughs> misplayed the timing there. But they're, they're in trouble. Alright, just do this. You are a fool. Good night. Chose to die with us rather than his own ship. Cowardice. Send you guys back. They're powering up their FTL. Really? Really? I don't believe you. He's given up. Yep. The last bit of oxygen before it drains. Kind of hoped it would start a fire. Oh, well. <clears throat> Any day now. So, I think the engines are probably the better thing to get upgraded first. Weapons are important, but I mean, we don't have any more weapons now at this point. Can you stop? Can you, like, pass away? There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, finally. Nice. 
34, another store. Well, we have five jumps. So one, two, three. We can go to all of them. So I definitely will. You always want to get as many jumps in as possible. Actually, here's the the real pog play. We're going to go... Eh. Yeah, we're going to go distress. One, two, three. We're going to go distress and then the store because it connects to this one. That way we can maybe get a little bit more money. Probably in the market for a weapon if they have something good. We'll shield it. Yeah, this the scrap's worth it. The whole hole is just a resource. We'll probably get repaired throughout uh, the game, so I'm not too not too pressed about that. Forty six bucks. What do we got? Okay, first laser one. Stealth weapons. Don't really have anything to sell at this point, point. and we cannot afford this. So I think that's fine. We'll repair a single hole point, and then we will get another engine and another power. So we're up to 25% dodge. We have pre-igniter. We have... Our weapons are okay. They need to be better. But we're still doing okay for the time being. Let's see if someone will sell to us. They will. Well, unfortunately, we have actually four monies. So, see ya. That's a very successful sector. I'll take it. Again, we're going to do this. So they have a beam drone. They can't hurt us. They just... They simply can't. So we'll go for shields. Well, don't even fire yet at this point. We're in... No well, I forgot we had pre-igniter. <laughs> you, like, never get pre-igniter, so. There we go. Okay. Let's see how they handle this. They're getting their shields fixed. Which is fine. Weapons are down. Not that I cared. Drones are down. It's it's just a disaster on their end. So what we'll do, fire this, and then we'll get fire beam. Something like here. Try to get all the rest of the rooms burned up. That is exactly what happened. Love to see it. They do have a med bay? Yep. Don't believe that'll save you, though. And it's down. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm going to break these videos up like I do with my multiverse. I think I'm going to go a little longer. Probably do two parts. Just kind of 50-50 thing. Really? You guys think you're going to be able to do that? Not on my watch. Um, I think I'll probably run half the game. Four sectors and the final four sectors in each video. So it'll be a little longer, but... Not going to be speedrunning it. Dude, stop trying to fix that, man. How dare you? He's actually probably going to blow up. Because if it breaks the uh, med bay, it's going to blow their ship up. Which is a bummer. I pro uh, But whatever. We'll still kill him. Oh, well. I tried. 26 scrap. 2 fuel. Nice. So we're going rocket control or mantis homeworlds. Okay. Again, with since we're heavy fire beam... Rock control is going to be terrible, so we're going to go Mantis Homeworlds. If we got, like, double rock sectors, we would have been in big trouble, but we're okay. So let's go... Let's go down first. Let's see what we got. We're going to start seeing level 2 shields on enemies, which is going to be... Yep. Which is going to be a bummer. They have a Burst Lizard Mark II, I think. Yes. Um, But we do also have Pre-Igniter. So what I'm really hoping here is we can get both their shield layers down. And we're going to have to do this, I think. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I didn't want to happen. So this is fine. You can come help. We'll just wait here. This is exactly why we need some more shield popping ability. Okay, that worked out well. Got some fires going, hopefully. You come... First laser. Oh, we took a hit on weapons. Kind of a bummer. But that's okay. Honestly, you, you just help with the weapons at this point. We do need this fire beam kind of back online. But we did... We're burning their weapons, which is good. Yep, med base down as well. Ion bomb comes in. It misses completely. Love to see it. You come here. Excuse me, Smith. There we go. Okay, fire beam back online. Nice. Fix their weapons. Not happy about that. I'm hoping our 27% dodge chance can come through. We just need to dodge one of these lasers, which we did not do last time. There we go. That's all we needed. Okay, so fire both these again. They don't have a pilot, which is good. They can't dodge. So we'll do this. Yep, I was really hoping to get a fire start in the shield room. Ion bomb comes in, hits weapons. Annoying. But not the end of the world here. 
Nice miss, hell yeah. <clears throat> the medbay is really cramping my style, I'm not going to deny that. Ion for so long here, jeez. Big miss. God, <laughs> not ideal. Mantis, you come help. Honestly, ooh, we need NG to come help as well. Weapons are back. Ion bomb, empty room. That's okay. We're going to need you guys to move here. Don't want you dying. So things are going to get a little rough now with this. And only having one layer of shields. But we got super lucky with our misses. The real problem is having this NG in here. That is indeed the real problem. So we'll do this again. Honestly, no. We'll do, we'll do this instead. Okay. Good. Big misses again. Yes, sir. Okay, we're getting pretty lucky here. The bomb. Uh, ouch. Fix this up. He got stunned. That's fine. Okay, good. Send everyone back then. Finally, there are burst lasers down again. We're going to keep this up, though. Still have no dodge. Okay, they're looking way worse now. The fires are spreading pretty savagely at this point. So fire here. Oops. And then do this. Did not start a fire in shields. Bummer. At this point, I think they're they're toasted though, which is good. Took a little bit of whole damage on that fight. It's it's been worse for sure. Yeah, he's given up completely. He's too low on health. Can't fix the medbay either. So we'll just wait. One layer of shields now. Doesn't really matter. We'll wait for the fire beam so we can fire one more. Do this. Yep. And the Mantis died. Yep, good night. Okay, that took a little longer than I was hoping, and we took a little bit of damage, but I mean, I think we only took two points or something. It's not that bad. Okay. But this is Exhibit A of why we need some more weaponry on our side. So let's go this way. Hope for the best. Um, This can be risky. The, the Mantis can end up killing your crew, so I think we're just going to jettison it. I don't really want to lose crew, and it would probably just be a Mantis remember anyways so we got enough of those for now let's hit the distress and then we'll come upwards what have we got yeah we have so much fuel take it for sure that gives the small bomb which actually is kind of good not gonna lie i in fact I, i'm gonna i'm gonna upgrade this we don't have the power but if we need to we can like pivot some engine power or oxygen to get this online which is gonna be helpful for taking down shields if we have some problems so getting that for free is really good. I'm um, not going to do this. Again, we slightly rely on missiles now, so... Won't be doing that trade deal. Let's come this way and around. Hopefully find some good stuff. Okay. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. So let's do this. I really wish I had that powered up, actually. Do I wait? No, I gotta fire. I gotta I gotta see if I get lucky here. So we'll do this. I really wish I had the small bomb. Okay, we got lucky. Fires already started in every single room. Huge. Nice. Very nice. They don't have a med bay either, so that'll be good. Really need to take these weapons down as quickly as possible, so I'm probably gonna do something like this. Their shields are fine, okay. So their shields are all down. Our weapons are still up, which is really good. Our small bomb went in. Missiles down. Huge. Fire these again. I'm a bit less concerned about burning this ship down. I'd rather just kill it if it meant means saving hull damage. Okay, their weapons are all the way down. Yeah, now we're good. Turn the small bomb off. Get the fire beam going. Okay. I think we, we damage controlled that pretty well. Wow, get sniped. Marcus, what a hero. Like, I don't think we have anything to, to worry about at this point. There are fires in every room except this one, so we'll do that. Yep. Poor guy. That went very well. We got pretty lucky, but that's mostly the pre-igniter just being god tier. So I'm going to wait. A, a good thing. If you're at a... What is this? What are they? Pulsars? 
electromagnetic yeah, ion pulse. Always wait till you have a layer of shields, because next jump you might run into like a beam drone on the enemy side, and that could be bad. So, we'll wait here. One day, one day. Having our weapons down is also kind of annoying. Really just want the shields, man. Okay, we're good. Our pre-igniter is going to be a little bit finessed here. And of course there's an enemy ship. Oh no, okay, just intruders, that's fine. Well, they came in here, which is good. So he's going to take the med bay out. We'll just move you, and then we'll do this, this, and we'll do this, this. Okay, they're coming in here. Let's get all three of y'all down over here. There we go. He's backing out. Don't think you'll get too far, bro. Please don't break my engines. Nice. Close that. Get finessed. <laughs> and yeah, they're, they're done for. Okay, who, who took damage? Marcus? Do this then. And then we'll send everyone home. Okay. Good thing that was not an enemy ship because we would have been a little bit behind the curve with our weapons not pre-ignited. We would have been. So then it's a fair fight. Exactly. Something red looms. It's the Mantis. Nice. Again, small bomb their shields immediately. This is why I hate small bombs. Just fatty mist. Okay, we'll go like this then. Ah. Bummer. Bummer. He went in the airlock, which is funny. They can't really hurt us, so it's actually not that big a deal. We'll just kind of take our time here, but still really annoying. Do this. Really, we should do... Really, we should do this, but I want to hit their shields, but I... Well, I don't need their weapons down, I guess, so... Yeah, we'll just... We'll do this, then. Nice miss. Alright. So they're fighting. Which is fine. NG, you're terrible at fighting, but you can at least help while you get double teamed. So let's fire the small bomb now. It missed again. Just... Love to see it. Okay, he beamed back, which is fine. Well, lasers are coming in. We might still have a chance here. Nope. All right. The wait continues. Okay, it finally hit. Oh, and my god, it started fires. That changes where I put the fire beam. I'm going to do this now. Nice. Okay. So that's good. You two can come heal, because we're not doing anything better with our time. Their shields are completely down. Uh, I'll do a fire beam like this. They're probably going to start fixing them pretty soon. So let's fire a laser to... Yep, finesse them out of that. And then the fire beam should hopefully get in before their shield. Yep, and now... Beautiful. Look at all those fires. God, this NG is elite. Please stop that. There we go. And, oh my god, the basic laser started a fire. That's just BM at that point. Fixing the med bay. Did not mean to fire a bomb, but that's fine. Engie's down, and now they're now they're screwed. Okay, this is good. This is good. I, I can use the fire beam for quite a bit more time, I think. We really just need some things to take shields down. Because we're way behind on that still. Um, can you start some fires, my dude? Yes, sir. 37 scrap. That's so much for this point in the game. Love to see it. Another store. Okay, that's good. We have quite a bit of money. I'm going to actually make one, two. Well, one, two, three. All right, we are going to dive here, I think. One, two. We're going to have to dive unless we go straight down. But I kind of want to go to the store to maybe get a better weapon. One, and so in that case, we might as well go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll go one extra jump. It can be a bit risky to dive, but we have a pretty good weapon setup, and we should be even better off by then. Oh, this is a crazy ship. Again, they hacked the med bay, which is amazing. Go for shields. Now, this is where. This is where uh, fire beam it does not shine. Okay, that's really lucky. 
Ah, oh, that's less lucky. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot it because I can, but it's not really going to do anything, I don't think. Um, we're going to have to just keep going for shields, I think, for now. So here comes a missile. Depower O2. Don't ever be afraid to depower O2 for a little bit. Get some dodge. Maybe it'll help. Totally did not, but NG's on top of it. Ah, oh, we missed again. Okay, a small bomb in here. Nice. Their shields are completely down. Now we can start laying into them. Go for weapons first. Actually, split the difference here. Missile again. Into O2. NG, you're on top of it. Took the burst laser round, which is good. I mean, again. Like, sure, I'll fire it. Who knows? Um, hold off on the small bomb. Go like this now. Spread this out. If we can take their piloting out, they won't be able to dodge anymore. Kinda did. And all right, we didn't get too too good on our own end, dodging wise there. Oh, they're jumping. That's really bad. So we need to immediately do this and get everything here. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I did not realize they were running, but we're good. Now do this. We get. Oh, we're, yeah. Okay. Ng. Come help, please. Okay, we finally nullified that missile launcher. Took a lot of damage there, but we are going to a store next jump, so it's not that big a deal. Let's make sure auction gets powered back up now. And then you two can come heal. Yeah, auto scouts are, are one of the biggest weak weaknesses of a fire run. But we made that happen. We survive. We live another day. Playing a bit risky here with our HP. But 105 scrap, going to a store. This could be a big turn of events for us. Oh my god, there's more. Are we even... That changes things low-key. One, two, three. I feel like we go one. We still do what we we're going to do. One, two, three, four. We get more jumps that way. Yeah, I think we do what we we're going to do. And a store is a store, right? Okay, long range scanners is huge. Automated reload is pretty good as well, but we don't have enough space for both. So we'll definitely take long range scanners. It's one of the best augments in the game. We'll fix up a bit. And we will continue to vibe. One, two. Yeah, this is over the line. 55 scrap. I will actually get some reactor power. And I think I'll do this as well. Yeah. So we're, we can't fill it up completely, but we can get extra dodge for when, like, a missile comes in or something with our oxygen depowering. Okay. So they only have one layer of shields, which is excellent, and they have a terrible weapon setup. This is what I was hoping for. A single Mantis has boarded us, so we'll weaken him, and then we'll have our own Mantis fight him. And we will just do this, and then do, I think... Well... Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, we did not start any fires in the shield room. So that's fine. We're not really in a rush on this fight since we're completely impervious to damage. Okay, now our own Mantis will take this dub. He beams back. That's fine. So, they interestingly moved the NG to fix their med bay and left the Mantis to suffer trying to fix these shields <clears throat> that should be totally fine we'll do this now nice okay so the med bay is going to burn down they can no longer heal their shields are down for the time being they're probably going to fix them because they got double in or double crew in here yeah that's okay though the fires are slowly spreading so let's get this out, and then... Oh, it actually already spread there, so I'm going to instead do this. Yes, sir. And with that, they have lost, pretty much. Wow, they beamed over. That's actually a very interesting play. Depower auction temporarily. Hopefully we can get them to move. They might not. Oh, they moved. Nice. We'll actually do this as well. Turn O2 back on. Actually, leave it off. Get this de uh, deoxygenated quicker. And then we'll put it back on. They've been back already. Nice. You guys kind of finessed yourself with that, because now your ship's even more on fire. Do this. Do this. 
perfect. Engie's down, and then the Mantis is not far behind. Can't use an extinguisher with claws, my friend. Close all our doors, get, 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 uh, get Smith back up. Still would like to swap the small bomb out with something else, like maybe... I mean... I'm gonna say it. A flak, a burst laser tube, etc. We're not gonna be able to hit this other store, which is fine. We will... We'll destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. I'll take the money. Going just ahead of the fleet here. We should be able to get a little bit more rewards before we have to dive back into the fleet. We will promise to help. We have an engine crew, so we'll run out the repair. Tons of money. One more fight over here, which is good. Perfect. And then we will upgrade. So, they can't hurt us. They do have a defense 2, which is a bummer. But we do have a small bomb. What do they hack? Okay, that's like the worst possible thing they could have hacked, to be honest. So, what we have to do is, I think, fire a bomb. Hope it takes down this drone. And then fire our basic lasers and hope. That is exactly what happened. There are fires as well, which is just amazing. Go here and really hope... I don't care about weapons. I care about this stuff way more. Okay, they both hit. God tier luck. The fire luck was pretty terrible, all things considered. We're going to have to keep small balling here. Balling? Bombing here. Because we can't have this uh, robot running around. No more fires, but we did take all their drones down. And they don't have a pilot, so as soon as... Oh, he's back on. Ah, bummer. That's fine. We got plenty of missiles. Fire again here. Do this again. God, the fire luck was not... Yeah, not that great. That's okay, though. I'm pretty sure the fires are lit based on what tiles uh, they cover, so I guess technically I only missed one. This tile right here. But still. Okay. Skill-wise, we're doing excellent, to be honest. Other than Marcus. He's, he's trying his best. So let's give it a sec here. The fires are still spreading. Kind of hoping this guy moves. Okay, their engines are down, so they can't dodge. Nice. So we'll do this, and then... This. There we go. They do have the clone bay, but it should probably get broken before any of them die. Maybe not. Yeah, perfect. Perfect timing. Fire these. Do this. Nice. Okay. This is definitely a longer run so far since we're using uh, fire. But I'm not complaining, man. We're getting these dubs here. And they're dead. Beautiful. So we do have to dive now. That is what we planned for. In preparation, we're going to upgrade... Honestly, I think I'm going to do the shields. I was going to go engines, but we had so much money from all that that I think doing this is going to be good. We're going to depower a little... Uh, excuse me. A little engines, but three layers of shields makes us super defensive. Plus, we can pivot into engines with our power if we need to. So... They have a lot of shields. Oh my god, they are stacked. The game plan here has now become run, pretty much. So I'm going to depower this, get the faster charge time. I'm honestly going to depower the fire beam because it's unlikely we'll be using it. And we'll do this. I'm going to small bomb into their weapons a little bit. This is super convenient for me. Uh, so we can maybe at least get yeah, some damage, take like the flak out, which is perfect. Exactly what happened. They're coming. Close these up. Nice. Yeah, we have enough bombs. I'm okay auto-firing these. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> okay, not great. They took shields down a little bit, but we didn't... Yeah, that, that, that does need to be fixed, Loki. You come help. Uh, it's alright. We're, we're getting charged. We're getting charged. ASB's gonna hit us pretty soon here. They came in. NG honestly can probably take this, even though he's he's trash. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Small bomb comes in again. Their weapons are, are hurting big time, actually, which is pretty useful here. Oh, yeah. ASB. Ouch. Okay, Zoltan, not great, but our... Thank God we still actually have some engines. Uh, NG is now going to come help fix. We should be able to jump out of here in a second, though. 
Their weapons are all the way down. We don't need to auto fire anymore. We're going to get the heck out of here. These ships at best only give you like one fuel, which nobody cares about. So let's go to the next sector. Okay. Zoltan controlled. Now Zoltan controlled is a little dicey. It is a little dicey here. Um, because the Zoltan shields make it hard for us to really... Our pre-igniter is not as effective, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I was I was dialed in on my thought there. Yeah, the pre-igniter is not nearly as good when it gets, you know, cucked by massive Zoltan shield. That's okay. Double ships here. Let's go up here. Don't have enough to make any engine upgrades. So we'll do this. Okay. Not great. For sure. Definitely take... I don't care about their... Well, I do kind of care about their weapons. That's a lie. But I think I'd honestly, with Pregnator, rather go here. Okay, never mind. I'd rather go... Nowhere. We'll just wait, I guess. We're going to take some damage here, unless we get really, really lucky. And our small bomb does something useful here. So we'll do this. It hit this time. Perfect. Really hoping that one of these hits their weapons. Actually pretty huge. We'll do this again just because I can. Okay. So now, we're just going to small bomb again. We're a little, not low on bombs, but we've been higher. Perfect. And then, I don't care about their weapons anymore. So we'll now do this so we don't miss. Perfect. And then we'll go over here. And no more auto bombs. Or small bombs. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. Weapons are down. I'm not worried about this at all. Unless it... There's literally like a 1% chance it like goes boom, boom, boom. And it hits all over. Like, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. I'm saying it. I'm not even going to knock on wood, bro. Because I know it won't happen. Uh, Just keep going for shields at this point. Make sure they stay all the way down. So the objective is replace both of these. Or at least one of these with a more high projectile weapon. Guess we can do this now. Anything that shoots more projectiles is going to be super helpful for us. We struggle quite a bit with shields. We have to rely on a lot of small bombs. And this is about the point in the game where it's like make or break. Your run has to really start coming together. No stores still. Let's go to this ship. Uh, I'm going to save up a little. I was going to upgrade our reactor to put into the engines, but I think I'd rather save it a little bit. Oh my god. That's a lot of freaking... Lasers. That's okay, though. We'll do this. I mean, what, what what did I expect, to be honest? We'll do this. We actually hit both, which is huge. They intruded us here. Okay. Let's do this, then. They're probably... Okay, ooh, they moved. Nice. So, starting those fires is really good. They only have two guys available on their ship at the moment. So we'll do this again. No more small bomb. Save some ammo. Do this instead. They don't have a pilot, so these should all hit. I did not time that at all, but it's fine. This is when we depower you, and we depower you for some dodge chance. Ha <laughs> ha! He's done it. Okay, they're they're breaking through. They are indeed breaking through. Do this. I mean, we can power it back up at this point. Do this. Alright, they're through again. Lots of fires, though. Um, I do kind of need to dodge still. So we'll get Mantis in here to help. Engines are down, which is good. Not that they had a pilot in there anyways. They've been back. Okay, sweet. Go back. Go back. Burst laser's coming in. Nice miss. And they're in a bad way. Perfect. Give it a sec, and then we'll fire in here. Do something like this, I think. There we go. Wow. Somehow we didn't really take that much damage from the ship. Mostly due to our engines being, you know, the heroes of the game. 51 scrap. That is so much money. Hell yeah. This store is huge. We're going to go straight to it. I have a ton of money. I can probably sell some stuff, but I, I should be able to buy a good weapon if they have it. So let's really hope. Okay. So... 
They have cloaking as well. Wow. There's a lot I like. In multiverse, this is way better. It's not that good in this. It's okay. I think we need this, unfortunately. It's not a major upgrade. We could get the charge too, but again, that's... I don't like that thing that much. This is costs us one more weapon power, which is not that bad. It gives us another projectile, which actually is pretty useful. I really want cloaking. Like, how could we get cloaking? Not really without selling... Like, I care about all of this stuff. So we have to buy this. We're just going to have to say cloaking. I'm sorry. You're just a little bit too expensive, man. If I had, like, one drone in the cargo. But... Okay, so let's buy this. Let's upgrade it. Like, uh, oh, we don't have enough, actually. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we can get it online as soon as possible. In that case, what I'll do... Uh, I'll get one power, put it here, and then I'll repair a little bit. Because I do feel a little uncomfortable at the what we're at. So we'll do that. Okay. Next objective is get that dual laser online. Pulsar? Absolutely not. This is why long range scanners is good. Pulsars are actually pretty disastrous. So. We will investigate. Uh, this is risky. Okay, we got Charlie, and he's a Zoltan, a yellow Zoltan at that. Now... He's not good at anything except repairing. Uh, I think what I'm honestly going to do is just plop him in shields here for a couple reasons. One, Mantis here has enough skill that I, I don't really want to move him necessarily. Two, he sucks at repairing, so having an extra body there is helpful. And three, the power in shields is always good. Um, so that uh, we could put him in auction, right? But I'm not too concerned. So let's do this. I am okay with that. It also gives us a free power, which is awesome because we can put what we had previously had in shields into engines. And now, look at that. Beautiful. So let's go down here. Actually, let's save our positions. I don't think I did that. And we will continue. What have we got? Quickly beam an eye on weaponry. Look, there you, they're giving you uh, some tips. Another store. Um, hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go here, fight this ship, and then go to the store in hopes that maybe there's something we can make happen. Okay. So I regret everything. Let's quickly fire the fire beam to hopefully take down their shields or their Zoltan shield that is. And then we'll honestly just fire these as well. Okay. Suffocate these guys. This could be quite the fight. Oh my god, there's four Zoltan. Okay, this is this is when you just say it's vent time, boys. Because if they blow up on you, it's going to be terrible. You guys need to leave. We need to make sure our power does not get finessed, though. For example, see, our, our third layer shields got finessed. So do that. You two are honestly also going to come out. You're going to come, like, down, down here. You're going to vent this. Actually, you come into oxygen... So don't fire this. Fire the lasers again. Okay. We then need to do you. Ah, uh, now we need this, probably. We're, we're a little power short. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. But fortunately, we did take down some of their stuff. So close that. Close all our doors except this, I think. So we're going to fight them now, which is good. We're in the med bay. This guy moved, which is amazing. So he's going to suffocate over here. Now we should be able to... Firebomb is huge. Nice. You're fixing O2. That's fine. We're good. We have level 3 shields. We should be able to get a volley off before they fire again. Okay, see, they go boom boom, which is terrible. Um, also, I, I realize our auction is down. But we're healing, so we're in equilibrium, pretty much. Let's get fire beam ready. We're going to need to do this. Okay, we took another hit, but they didn't hit anything meaningful, so we're good. And auction's back online, so let everyone heal. Okay. All right. We're alive. We're back. They're shooting. Weapons are not down yet. One miss would be huge. Yes. Okay. 
So they've given up on some of the fires. We're going to need to hit something in their weapons. So do this. Do this. Okay, nice. So that's going to hurt their weapons quite a bit. Everyone can now go home to where they're supposed to be. Nice miss. Oof. Drone? Okay, we got really lucky with the drone. We took some damage there, but that was not that bad. So let's uh, give it a moment. Firebeam is not ready. They, act they actually have their dodge back. But... These guys are good at repairing, man, I'll tell you. See, shield oh, shields are down. God dang it. The Zoltans, man, they're, they're something. Okay, we'll fire. We'll fire. Okay, good. Good, good, good. One guy got boomed. Boom. There we go. They're in trouble now. Okay. The fact that they managed to keep their weapons online for so long is is honestly incredible. Well, this guy's going to die, so... Okay, and we got Roper. Prisoner who offers to join your crew. That's crew kills for you. Now, Roper, I don't need you really anywhere, so I'm going to put you in the auction room just to have someone there, even though you're kind of bad at repairing. 29 scrap, not a lot. But after that fight, we might need to fix some, so... Okay, what, do they have anything I care about? Okay, so here... This is, this is a, a sad day for people around the world. Realistically makes more sense to buy like well the halberd beam really sells for 25 <clears throat> but the pike beam as well i think buying the pike beam is probably <coughs> pardon me probably gonna be better for us so let's run through this we sell this we can use the pike beam immediately tends to do more damage Ah, the fire beam's pretty lit, though. Burst laser. We'll, we'll swap you out. This is a tough one, because it's going to be tight. For sure. Huh. Um, actually, we don't even have enough. If we sell this, we're going to be at... Oh, no, we, would, we totally will. What am I talking about? Wait, will we? We won't. My brain is fried. That'll give us 54, right? One short. I mean, we could sell one of these as well and swap you out. It's a bit risky, though, because we do need you. And... <laughs> ah, man. You know what? I think we just fix and we press onwards. Because if we sell both of those things, we're not going to have enough to get the burst laser online because we need one more power for our weapons although i guess we could just not use the small bomb all right now nah, we're gonna do it this is this is a risky play but i'm gonna do it um so we'll sell this we'll sell this put this here we'll buy you we can now do this and this and this is still three projectiles for three layers of shields and the pike beam. We'll get the small bomb online as soon as possible, but I'm... Asteroid fields, huh? Yikes. Uh, I'm really hoping that we can be okay for at least a jump or two. So let's go to this one first, because there's no ship here. See what's happening. We're going to help the Zoltans, because I don't want to deal with their Zoltan shield, really. And yeah, they only have two layers of shields, which is not that bad. So they're going to board us with a single Mantis in the sensors. That's okay, because we have Roper, the extra mantis, to just come pull up. And of course we have Pregniter, which I seem to always forget. So we'll do this. Get it. Oh my god. Okay, we still hit them, sort of. Um, the fire beam is a lot of fun, but it, it takes a long time to kill things, and we got a lot of early game rewards from it, so it definitely did its, its part, I would say. Plus the pike beam charge is faster, and does more direct damage, which is super helpful. So do this again. Do this. Okay, there we go. Took their laser down. So we just have this thing to worry about, which... In base FTL, you can't tell what type of bomb it is until they fire like this. In multiverse, I really like to have it differentiated by the sprites of them. So an ion bomb could be bad if they hit us somewhere relevant. Nothing. You'll love to see it. 
Some fire is now, always good. Weapons are completely down. Okay, their shields are somehow not completely down. Do this, though. For the kill. See ya. Much faster. Good. Smith, you come heal. So yeah, skills are looking real good. Marcus is very close to getting fully maxed out, and all of our other specialists are good. Hell yeah. Jump. Feel a little more confident about going there, but I think... Uh, we don't have that many jumps, though. One, two... Three... Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the asteroid field. Hope for the best. So they have Zoltan shield. Not good. Luckily, we're in the asteroid field, like I said. So it's not going to last as long. Um, it's already gone, which is awesome. So we'll just wait for these to fire, and then we'll do this. Them having a flak is not amazing. Okay, the asteroid plugged us. We got huge dodges there. Huge dodges. This is why, boys, you always get your engine power up. Do not sleep on the engines. Nice. Nice. Okay, and they're down. That, power of a pike beam. I would have preferred to have the halberd beam, but there was actually no way we would have made that happen, so that's all right. We're going to go to the nebula first, and then down. See what we've got here. A rock ship. Glad we don't have the fire beam anymore. Glad we do not have the fire beam anymore. Um, so let's fire here, and then we'll do something like this, I think. Didn't really take anything now, <laughs> but we did do some damage, which is good. Here comes a missile, big misses maybe. Nope, terrible. Started a fire as well. Not great. That was nice though, for sure. Uh, okay. Do the exact same thing here. We'll go this. Yeah, do this. The resists, bro. Jesus. Another miss, maybe? Yes, sir. Okay. Love to see it. Really hoping our engines come through here. Oh my god, they really did. Nice. Can never rely on a dodge, but having 40% dodge, 45% is super duper helpful. Okay, you two need to heal. Go do that. Then do. Alright. Looks good. Let's go one more jump and then we'll hit the exit. And then we'll call it for this video. It's been over an hour. But that is FTL for you. Okay, so we got defense one. Got these two boys. Lots of NGs. So it's kind of good we're not doing... I do kind of care about their weapons, actually. So I think I'll do this instead. Nice. We got medbot dispersal, because they always do. Really, this is all I care about. Okay, nice. Shields are super down. Well, they're back up. Welcome to the world of being an NG. There we go. They're dead. Not hard. This is, yeah... This is why I wanted to pivot from the fire beam. Even though I love it and getting those early rewards, which we definitely took advantage of. It's it doesn't kill quickly enough. So yeah, let's go to the next sector. We're gonna go ooh, NG Homeworlds, huh? I'm gonna go to the nebula because I have the long range scanners. We can actually see what's going on. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that, I will see you in the next one. See ya.